But yeah, all these parents teaching them, demanding, I know, man. Man having to break off 500 pounds to give his mother. No, no, no. You shouldn't know. You should not have to be giving your parents 500 pounds a month. Why are your parents in a position where they need 500 pounds a month from you? Yeah? Man ain't trying to diss no one's parents here or nothing like that, yeah? But it could be some people watching this right now. Their parents are, their parents are leaning on them. Oh, you... Oh, oh, I, beg, oh, I beg you a 200 pound. Come lend me 200 pound. Yeah, oh, I'm a bit short on these bills or whatever, innit? Yeah. They're going to their children like their children's a fucking payday long. Come on, man. It's embarrassing. How are you, grown ass parent, 50 blood clot years old? How are you asking your child for 500 pound? That means you ain't got no savings. What the fuck you been doing for the last 20 years of your life? If a parent asks their child for 500 pounds, I mean you ain't got no, no money in your savings. Why are you not got even a couple of grand in your current account? It's embarrassing. That Instagram notification. It's embarrassing. There's all fucking parents out here. I know, man. Man, this shit is embarrassing. A man's mum couldn't take out a car on finance because her credit is so shit that she had to get her son to put the car in his name because the mum's credit is so shit. What the fuck's going on? These are the people that are taking out all these credit card loans and they can't pay the money. Me, if I had a parent that was demanding me put a car in their name or whatever, no, I'm not doing it, yeah? There's a reason why you cannot get a car on finance. It's because your credit is so shit. Anyone that has bad credit, right? 99.9% .9 of these people are irresponsible people. Why do you think, right, they do credit checks, yeah? I'm assuming most of you don't live with your parents, whatever, in it, yeah? But if you, and I, I recommend you stay with your parents, yeah? If you've got a good relationship with your mum, dad, or guardian, auntie, uncle, aunt, I don't care if you're your dog, yeah? You've got a good relationship with your, with your guardian, whoever you live with, utilise it, save your money, yeah? Um, yeah, make sacrifice, whatever, in it, yeah? But if you go out into the real world, yeah, and you want to rent, not that I've done it before, but these estate agencies, right, they will do a credit check on you, yeah? They want to see what your credit score is like, isn't it? Yeah? You can tell a lot about a person just by their credit score. If their credit score is fucking shit, yeah, because they miss payments on cars, they've taken out, the credit score will reveal everything, you know. Bro, I've done my credit score check the first time on, was it Xperia? It told me about all the mortgage payments I've made. I'm like, bro, how do you not know all this shit? They, they know everything. Yeah, they know every bumper clock. Yeah, they know everything. What for, what contract you got? They know everything about your finances, these credit scores, yeah? We're all in the system, yeah? They know what holidays you've paid for using this credit card and that, yeah? They'll look at your credit score and think, right, so you defaulted on this holiday deposit, yeah? Why the fuck are you going on holiday anyway, yeah, if you ain't got the money up front, yeah? You defaulted on these car payments and this and that, right? They could tell you are an irresponsible person. You do not know how to manage your finances. That's the whole point of the credit check, yeah? They don't care about the, the number or whatever. They, they want, you can tell a lot about a person by their credit score. Yeah? If they're always defaulted, if they always got bailiffs outside their yard, just know they don't know how to manage their finances. Yeah, they don't understand that if I ain't got, I ain't gonna spend. Yeah, that's what my mum always taught me. You know, now and I come from a humble family, whatever in it. Yeah, but my mum was never one of these stupid parents who go out and take out all this on finance and that you can't really afford. If you can't. If you ain't got it, you don't spend it, innit? Yeah, but there's people out here, they got access to credit cards, innit? Yeah, and they spend what they ain't got. 
There's people out here, right, still paying off for a fucking car that they had five years ago. And the car they're driving now is not the same caliber as the car that they're still paying off for. That man gave that analogy and my friend jumped on it as well. There's certain people, right, they're paying off for this iPhone X and they don't even have the iPhone X no more or a similar phone, yeah? And the phone they got now is a shitter phone. 